All right, well, we're continuing our journey through um, models and looking at security models, and we're going to start uh, this video by looking at the uh, Bell model. Uh, that second word in the first bullet, a state machine, hopefully you know what that is, but if not, that means that you're taking a computer and you're mapping out every possible state in this machine. Uh, so that's what Bell did is uh, tried to map out every possible state and then ensure the confidentiality of information at every possible state uh, that the machine could enter. And in doing so, it used mandatory access controls, data classification, and security clearances uh, to uh, map all objects between all users and all possible interactions. Now, again, that's really cool. It, it is provably secure it's almost impossible in a current computer system. That means every time you patch the system you have to go back and check and make sure you don't miss any possible state that the computer uh, could potentially uh, enter. But again, when you're starting with a security model and you're trying to protect the confidentiality, this is one way. Map out every possible state that it could possibly enter and make sure that that state is in fact uh, secure and safe. All right. Um, uh, the other thing it did is it used a, a reference monitor to compare that level of classification with the data being accessed and it only allowed access if the clearance was equal or higher to the classification. That, that tends to uh, make sense. Um, so I if you had uh, information say at the top secret level you couldn't move it to a low lower level subject or lower level object uh, within uh, the particular uh, system. Now, in doing this, it had two uh, different uh, access modes. So uh, one access mode was uh, simple security. And what this did is uh, prohibit a person, a, a subject with a lower security clearance, from reading an object with a higher classification. But it did allow uh, folks to read down. So that was, you know, if I've got a top secret clearance, I can read documents that are unclassified. Um, the second uh, kind of idea uh, um, behind this is the STAR principle. The right principle prohibited a higher level subject from sending messages to a lower level uh, object. So subjects could uh, read down and objects could write or append up. Uh, great model, not a lot of flexibility there. Uh, but you definitely can prove the security uh, of the particular system. All right, well, this concludes this kind of a short video look at the Bell confidentiality model. Uh, next video, we'll move on to uh, Biba, Biba, uh, which was an integrity model that expanded on and was very similar to the Bell model.